All right, we just finished the uh, debate um, with our panellists on uh, the referendum. James Forsyth, the spectator, is still with us before he heads back to London. What did you think? Passionate debate as usual? Yeah, passionate debate. I think it's a remarkable how engaged people are on this question. You know, it, 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 this is a full hall um, with a rapt audience for a political question. Which we're told this is going to age rapidly, but yeah, on, yeah. on this issue, there is real interest. I think passions run very high. I thought what was refreshing about tonight's debate was that you had an idealistic case made by both sides of the debate. Uh, you had Robert Butler making a passionate pro-European case that they are us and we are them and that we, sh we, we should accept that we are going to lose some judgments yeah. in the European Court of Justice. We're going to be outvoted from time to time, but that is a price worth paying for the benefits of EU membership. And you had Jacob rees Mogg and Daniel Hannan who very eloquent about the, the case for the sovereignty of Parliament, the opportunities that exist for Britain outside of the EU. Um, and I thought what was so striking was a level of engagement from the audience. They, 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 these were clever, thoughtful questions. Yeah, and it was fairly split on the vote at the end. Probably just shaded out, I would say. But um, you know, the number of undecideds was three or four people. So. I was very surprised about that. Yeah. Every other one of these I've been to, the number of undecideds has been very high. Really? Um, I, was, I was struck by that. Um, and, and I mean, that, that was quite striking. I think people also, I thought it was interesting that Robert Buckland said, but you know, there are no, you can't, we can't give you a series of facts and figures to set out yeah, what yeah. the case is here. You're going to have to take a value judgment, and it is going to be a value judgment. I bought Dennis McShane and Robert were, were very eloquent in their case about the, the, the in case, and I thought, you know, Daniel and Jacob uh, were um, providing kind of robust arguments throughout. I think, yeah. we, I think people are, this is not going to be a simple choice for voters. No, no, it's really difficult. It's such a fashion. Well, I may have been in the chair tonight, but I have a view. SteveBryan.com, uh, you will see my view on the referendum on the 23rd of June. We'll know the answer.